to know who you ask, they'll tell you I'm a legend. From Y.O. to the Veil to the Mongol spot on Creston. Always been a thousand, never ever been a lane. Lay a nigga down, down for these three letters on my chain. Yo, yo, what's shaking with it, y'all? This is your dog, J Hood and all that. And I'm right back at y'all with another episode of the Tales from the Hood Vlog series, man. Go stream or download my brand new album, Self. While you at it, snatch up the Pesci Trilogy 1 through 3, grab up that Best of Hood flashbacks from the block. And while you at it, make sure you stream the What If single, all right? It's, everything is available right now, all digital streaming platforms, all right? Let's get into it. A couple episodes ago, I was speaking to you guys about the time that uh, an incident took place in Miami when I was on promo tour promoting the Tales from the Hood album when we were signed to Koch, right? I told you while I was down there, I bumped into a lot of people. So one of the people that I bumped into while we were down there is Pat Poos, right? So um, at this time, like I told you, we like 30 deep all together down there. But at this specific instance, when, when I'm speaking about when we were in the diner, we were 20 deep, right? So we all in there, we had just got a a new shipment of product in from the label. When I say product, I mean like CDs and flyers and shit. So we're all sitting in the front of the diner at like this bar area where they got this little, the desk at by the register. So me and my guys, we sitting there, they putting together these packets of CDs and shit because the box that we got was just the, the inserts in the cases of the CDs. We had to actually put the CDs inside, you know what I mean? Inside the inserts. So we sitting there doing that and Papoose is literally sitting like, I say like 10 feet away from us, like behind us though. So one of my dudes, he came up to me like, yo, the nigga Pap over there. I'm like, I look back, I'm like, okay. He's like, yo, you ain't gonna say what up to the nigga? I'm like, no, the fuck? He looking at me like, for real? I'm like, nah, nigga, like, and, you know, I guess that was that New York shit in me. You feel me? Like the, the ego and all that. And he was on the same shit because I, I seen it. He wasn't about to get up and come say what up to us. So I'm like, nigga, he ain't. Uh, going out his way to say what up to niggas, like, what the fuck? I ain't about to go out my way to say what up to him either, you know what I mean? Ain't no beef or no shit like that, but come on, nigga. You see what we doing over here? We putting together these CDs and shit, so. I mean, like, all right. So, you know, we, we was in there probably for a good 20 minutes, and neither one of us said nothing to each other. It was no problems or nothing like that, but I guess he probably thought I should have got up and said what up to him. I thought they should have got up and said what up to us. So it was like both of us on some some ego shit. Nobody said nothing to each other. And it was like pretty ridiculous if you ask me. You know, now that I look at it, being an, an adult, it was like, shit was silly as hell, man. You know what I mean? It wouldn't have took nothing for me to go to get up and go say what up to him. Or it wouldn't have been nothing for him to get up and come say what up to me. Like, it was just, you know, niggas being niggas and shit. So um, uh, that shit was just like crazy to me. Like I said, man, I'm um, too dope. MCs in the same vicinity, in the same building, not speaking to each other due to ego. It was like, like I said, shit was silly as fuck. Um, I don't, I don't think he liked that. Uh, he, excuse me, I don't think he liked what went down. Um, too much because when he ended up going back to New York, I heard him speaking about something on the radio, and I kind of like put two and two together and was like, you know what, I think he might be talking about that, but he didn't say any names, but. It, you know, the things that he was speaking about, I kind of put two and two together. I'm like, he got to be talking about that. And um, the shit was just, like I said, the shit was corny, though, man. We we should have spoke to each other. And I fuck with him. You know, he's a dope MC, legendary out there. And, uh, I don't even know if he remember that. Maybe he do, maybe he don't, but I remember it because, like I said, the shit was silly as shit. But, um, yeah, man, make sure you like this video, subscribe, comment, check out my, la my last video, check out the one after this, and... Um, Follow your boy on Instagram at RealJHood. And until next time, you know how your boy do it. Tell us from the hood.